Welcome. I am Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on mysterious and weird true stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 63, written by user Throra, Yikes Girl. Three examples are given from a lifetime of baffling, inexplicable happenings. It's an inside joke with my family that someone up there has my wires mixed up because I always have weird coincidences or unexplainable things happen to me. I also get those dreams that come true later too. These are stories of other people experiencing weird things that involved me, but weren't caused by me. Hope you enjoy it. Number 1. A woman who frequented my dad's workplace convinced him that she knew me and sponsored me in Little League. I never played Little League, but I did volunteer at some games with my after school club doing arts or snacks. The next time she came around, they chatted and my dad mentioned that I never played sports. She was adamant she sponsored me, and the next time she came in, she showed him a photo of a team flag with my name stitched in. I have a somewhat unique name, probably less than 10 people have ever had my first and last name combo. My dad thought she was weird and gave her business to his colleague. <laughs> Number 2. An old friend I hadn't spoken to since high school texted me out of the blue saying she had a crazy dream I was in a car accident. I was commuting during rush hour and a truck switched into my lane without looking, pushing me into the median. She texted me as I was sitting in the back of an ambulance, getting looked over, and I sent her a selfie with the EMT to freak her out. Number 3. I used to live next door to my cousin when we were in high school. It was a duplex situation with stairs splitting the building into a left and right side, so our front doors faced each other. I would often go over to escape chores at home or just to hang out. I'd text my cousin, come open the door, followed by knocking an obnoxious tune, and he'd come let me in. One night, I was up late watching a movie in my living room. I get a knock at the door and open it to see my cousin standing outside looking rather tired and annoyed. He asked me if I was coming over or not, to which I said no, I'm in the middle of a movie. He asked me why I had been knocking on his door and texting him then. We checked my phone and my outbox had 6 texts in a row saying, open door. It freaked us out and I texted him while he was next to me, WTF I didn't text that, and do not open the door. In between my two texts to him, another open door was sent. He had his messages open and we saw all three messages pop up in real time. This was before I had a smartphone, LG Beacon, I looked it up. So I chalked it up to an actual tech glitch. But my cousin maintains that he heard a melodic knocking on his door at the same time he got the first six open door messages. Case Notes, file number 63. Number 1, I have no particular explanation for, given your name is so unique. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but I suppose that's your life catchphrase, isn't it? Number 2, so straight up foresight on the part of your friend. The curious question though, is foresight an ability an individual has, or is it connected to the individuals they see in their visions? Maybe people don't have the ability, they merely connect to special people key players if you will. Hmm, the last one sure could be a tech glitch. I've read a few related to this, emails being sent later on, and duplicates. Of course, what makes it genuinely unsettling is that your cousin heard knocking in your own self-described obnoxious tune. What do you think? A quick note before the next story, if you're enjoying the video, consider sharing it, it really helps. Thank you. Case file number 64. Written by user, Kaizek96. As a child, he played with another young girl who no one else noticed. There's a reason for that. I remember looking through a photo album with my mom a while back, and we came across some pictures of my aunt's house, which happened to be a farm. I have a memory of that place even though I was only 4 at the time, particularly of this little girl I used to play with there. It was so strange because it was my first memory of meeting my aunt and uncle, as well as my cousin. They were all in each other's arms except for this little girl who had long curly blonde hair, fair skin, blue eyes, 
wearing this blue overall dress with a white shirt underneath. She was just standing there off to the side, ignored by everyone else, and yet she was looking at me with a charming smile. I remember being confused about this and wondering if she did something really bad to be ignored like that. Sometime later on, we were having dinner and at some point, I remember seeing her again at the stairwell, beckoning me to come play with her. So I asked my mom if I could go play and she said yes. Everyone was so engrossed in each other's company that they didn't even notice me heading up the stairs with her and into my aunt's bedroom, where the girl led me to a closet away from all the chaos. The closet door was left just a crack open, allowing some of the light from the hallway in, illuminating her face. She hands me some cards and of course, I had no idea what to do with them, so she attempted to teach me. This went on for some time until my mom started calling out my name, searching for me. Just as my mom enters the room, the little girl starts to evaporate into the shadows, escaping my vision and I was suddenly left alone in the closet with a handful of cards. So when I saw those pictures in the photo album, I asked my mom what had ever happened to that house. My mom tells me that auntie sold it, and when I asked why, she said that it was actually because I freaked them out. Intrigued by this, I pressed on a little more, asking what exactly had happened. She said that when they noticed I wasn't around, they went looking for me, eventually finding me in my aunt's room in her closet, playing with some cards. No one knew where I got those cards from, and they were especially weirded out when I wouldn't stop asking where the girl, whose name I can't recall, was. I did end up telling my mom about that experience, and she took interest in it, but you could tell she was also becoming unnerved by it, and we eventually ended up changing the subject. It's so weird though, having that memory. I honestly thought I had another cousin when I was little, and I thought my aunt and uncle were hiding her from me. That was until my auntie gave birth to a little girl, and I eventually just moved on from trying to see that girl again. Case Notes, File Number 64 So my initial thought is, do you remember where she took the cards from? Were they on the ground around a room or closet, or did she have them on herself? Either way, if this was a ghost, that's the most shocking aspect. It would mean either she physically manifested the cards from the ether, or was able to interact physically with existing cards in the world. In both cases, that's honestly incredible. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe on up. I'll see you in the next video very soon.